Hi everybody, I'm Amy from Fun Cauldron and I'm going to do something a little bit different in today's episode of Dye Time. Uh, I have this purple acid dye from DT Craft and Design and I took the top off and as you can see it's got a little, little um, this thing on it, oops, uh, I've got a uh, got paper towel down because of that but there's always dye on this and I just usually throw it away so what I've decided to do today got a little jug of water here I'm going to try and get that dye off into here because that's a nice lot of dye in there oh this is why I put paper towel down and I've got my gloves on and I've got my mask on because there is powder around but yeah so I've got all this lovely dye out of there we go nice and clean and I've got a nice little pot of dye now I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this dye I decided what I'm going to do with that purple dye I have no idea how much purple is actually in there I'm going to put it into this pot my dedicated dye pot and I'm going to add a dry skein of 100 grams of superwash merino. This is DK yarn and it comes from Laughing Hens. I'm just gonna press it down. I've just grabbed this out of my um, stash. There is no acid in here. There is no heat. It's not even on my stove. You can see I've just put it on the counter and this will give me an idea of how much dye there is actually in here. Have a look. Yeah, not much. That was a very pretty pink. So what I have decided to do is kettle dye this, just how it is, and then I'm going to speckle the same purple on top. I think that might be quite nice. So I'm going to move this over to the stove once uh, uh, a ring becomes available, and heat set this, and then we'll be back for speckling. I added some acid to this once it went in the uh, in the on the stove, and you can see it's set to this lovely sort of dusty pink colour. So, got my mask back on and my gloves, and a spoon that I only use for dyeing. I'm just going to get a little bit and just tap around I think mm. so, yeah. so, just to get some of the, the same purple but it'd be a lot more concentrated on this I wonder unfortunately the pot is just too little for me to stick my fingers in so I wouldn't normally uh, speckle like this but I don't, unless I put some of this dye into another pot which I don't particularly want to do I'm just going to go around and oops <laughs> hopefully not put too big a blobs on anywhere oops oh. I'm not going to get really sharp speckles because of the method that I'm using but ooh. I'm going to bring you in closer. You can see here, we've got blue and pink. The speckles have broken. I was not expecting that, but that looks fantastic. And look, this one is a bit more obvious. There is lovely blue specks in there as well as pink. Oh, I'm very excited by this. So I'm going to keep just sprinkling some more. I can't even fit that in that way. I'm going to keep sprinkling this lovely purple dye just over as much as I can get. I'm going to probably leave this for a few minutes before I flip it. Uh, I've tried to spread out what I can. Yeah, let's see. If spread out anymore yeah this is looking good I'm 
I'm just going to keep, oops, don't put too much on your spoon. Just <laughs> don't be impatient like me. Just do tiny bits. There we go. I'm not going to leave it. I'm impatient. I am going to flip. Uh, you can see I've got a towel down and some cling film over the top to try and protect my surfaces a bit. There we go. Let's spread this out. There we go. I'm just going to do this again on this side. Well, that seems to work. I get a little bit on my spoon and then, oops, that's a bit much there. And just grab it with my finger. And just sprinkle. There we go. I have more, much more control this way. Don't like not really having control over how much gets dumped and, and where. Yeah, this is much better. Let's see if there's any spots that I may have missed. Probably. But thanks to the, the dye, I, thanks to the kettle dyeing, there is colour everywhere. It doesn't matter if I don't get every, I don't get some speckles everywhere. I, right. This is going to be my last one, I promise. Last tiny bit of dye. Where's it going? A bit there. There. Right, that's it. I'm done. No more. I'm not, not playing anymore. I am putting the lid on. There we go. Right. Ooh, there's a the light. <laughs> How's that? That's not, not too bad. I'm just going to tap my fingers in the big because I've got all this dye on my fingers. I'm just going to try tapping some of that out. There we go. So there's going to be some big patches of dye. I am going to use this coin film. Oops, got to move the tripod. There we go. All right, I'm going to use this coin film to wrap up the yarn. Just like this. Um, there we go. Here's my steam basket. Pop it in there, and that's going to go on to steam for probably 30 40 minutes. Hopefully, that'll be enough time for this beautiful dye to set. It's been about 40 minutes now. Let's have a look at this. Oh, yeah. That. I'm very happy with how that looks. There doesn't seem to be any water dripping off of it. So let's have a quick look underneath. And the water in there is clear. Fantastic. So I'm just going to turn it off the heat, leave it in there to cool down, and then can unwrap it and wash it. This has completely cooled down now. So let's try and just unravel it. There's a bit of dye on the cling film. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any dye coming off of this yet. I'm going to add a little bit of washing up liquid. This will just help to shift any um, any powder that might not have dissolved. Um, Get rid of any dye that's not found. Yep. Hey, that water is looking pretty clear. That's great. So, just rinse this through a couple of times and then I can hang it up to dry. And here is our finished yarn. I am so, so happy with this. You can see we've got the lovely sort of dusty pink background to the yarn almost. And then we've got where I speckled, we've got some very heavy splodges where it's very very dark purple 
and I'm, this makes me so happy. Look, the die has broken. We've got blue, we've got pinks. Look at those little speckles. I absolutely love this. You know I love it when the die breaks and I wasn't expecting it to when I did this, but look, we've got some lovely sort of pale pinks there. And, oh wow, some lovely cluster of speckles there. It's just everywhere. I'm so happy with this. And it's amazing that this was all dyed with the same purple dye. It was just that pot of purple dye, very weak concentration for, for the kettle dyeing part. And then heavy, and certainly in some areas heavier than other, heavy uh, concentration for the, the speckles. I'm so happy with this. I love it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please click like and subscribe to my channel. I produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday and it's published between about 6 and 8 p.m. UTK time. And I like to do different things in each of my videos. Um, this is the first time I've ever done kettle dyeing and speckling with the same dye. Would you like to see me do this again with another one of my dyes? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching.